Ugh, spaceports all smell the same. Engine exhaust, coolant fluid, and spacers who haven't bathed in a week. Let's get out of this stink. Whatever the rest of Drummond Cost is like, the air has got to be fresher than in here. Still smells better than a hutta. That's like saying a girl's slimmer than a hut. Just a reminder, this is an imperial world, which means rules, rules, and more rules. If we tweak the local authorities, they can make life really hard. I like tweaking with authority. How did I know you were gonna say that? Come on, the Mandalorian Enclave is in the Citadel. Our contact is someone named Krista Markon. <laughs> and then I told him, you think that's cold? You should see what I did to the Gamorrean. I never saw a Rodian run so fast in my... Whoa. Hello, handsome. You here to sweep me off my feet? We are here for the Great Hunt. We've been sponsored by Nemro the Hut. Ooh, what's this? Got yourself a pet? Little sister, maybe? It's not enough to hold a real man's interest, anyway. Mako's the only person in the galaxy who matters to me. Really? I... Really? Huh. You're a loss. You probably ain't gonna like what I'm about to tell you. But there's nothing I can do about it, understand? There's one spot left open in the Great Hunt, and over three dozen hunters who got sponsorships. It's okay. I brought over three dozen rounds of ammo. I just bet you did. I hope you can back up that kind of talk. The Huntmaster himself will explain how we're gonna sort things out. Head into the main room, and show some respect. When the Huntmaster's done talking, come on back in here. I'll be handling you from here on out. you dogs the huntmaster is about to speak pay attention and show some respect for once in your lives <coughs> you heard the huntmaster you're competing for the last spot in the crate hunt by taking down three bounties on troman costs Expect us to hunt here, with Imperials crawling all over us, and Sith? If you're afraid to compete, the spaceport's that away. Yes, that's the spirit! For all you overblown, useless, no-talent cowards, we installed a handy exit door. Use it now! The rest of you, the real hunters, go see your handlers. They'll get you oriented to the planet and assign you three unique bounties. Everyone who takes down all three of their bounties wins a spot in the final melee. Anyone who doesn't get all three is out. Hunting on Drummond Koss? That's suicide. I'm grabbing the first shuttle out of here. I suggest you do the same, friend. Do I look like a coward to you? Now you look like a kid with fire in his eyes. The kind who gets himself killed. I'm done here. May your quarry fall before you, Hunter. Well, what are you standing around for? Back to your handler. That's Krista for you, new blood. Dozen cowards just scurried out of here. Probably won't stop till Droman Kaos is light years behind him. You understand the basics, right? Three bounties, hardest targets on Droman Kaos. Gotta get all three to qualify for the final melee. This is the best job in the galaxy. Ooh, I like you. You're even crazier than the rest of these hunters. Now let's see who your first target is. Whoa, this can't be right. 
You got enemies among the Mandalorians or something? Just Taro Blood, the Mandalorian who killed Brayden. What'd he do? It'll be fine. What are we dealing with here? I wouldn't wish this bounty on anybody. Gotta play the hand you're dealt, though. The target's a Republic noble named Valtaka. He got captured during an Imperial raid, brought back here, and sold into slavery by mistake. Didn't think the Republic had an aristocracy. Law of the galaxy. Anywhere somebody with a fancy name can step on somebody without one, they will. Altaka's slave group was building a big old statue in the jungle. The slaves rebelled and took over the site. Nobody can get in there. We don't even know if he's still alive. If he is, the family will pay big. Easy jobs bore me. You've got confidence. I give you that. The slaves got themselves a tent camp near that statue they never finished. If Altaka's still kicking, he's probably somewhere in there. Before you go, meet your new best friend. The S-86K full-gauge carbonite armor upgrade. You can't shoot a fella with this while he's springing around. It's too slow to charge up. But once that fella ain't resisting, say, after a good long beating, the S-86K will freeze him for transport. I do love getting new toys. I expect you'll have plenty of chances to play with that one. You find that Republic noble fella and claim that first bounty, then hurry it on back here as fast as you can. My dear Altaka, when I got your message, I could scarcely believe it. We have found each other after all these years. Oh, looks like a love letter. From an Imperial noble, no less. Juicy. Why would a noble be writing love letters to a slave? That's what I want to know. It must have been the Force that brought you here to Drum and Curse, dear Altaka. As for your predicament, fear not. I have friends in high places. And, for the right price, they have agreed to help me. When the slaves attempt their pitiful revolution, a man will come to you dressed in rags. He will bring you to me. I shall say you are my missing brother. We will be Lord and Lady Decker. I'm afraid I cannot get you off-world and back to your beloved family, but I promise to make your every moment here a joy. Our lifestyle will be the envy of all, and we'll attend parties at the Nexus Room every night. Be ready to join me, my love. Wait, so the lady is his lover, but now he's posing as her brother? That's disgusting. Sounds like the Nexus room is where we'll find these weirdos. This whole planet is weird. I am with you there. Let's go meet this Lord and Lady Daka. Lead on, boss. There, sir. Just as I said. That looks like him, all right. Bounty Hunter. I am Sergeant Warlax of the Imperial Navy. You are commanded to hand over all your weapons and gear immediately. How about I just hand over the ammo instead? Don't get cute, off-world scum. Remember, you're an outsider here. I can shoot you just as easily as bring you in. Sergeant, Taro Blood here. Have you completed my little errand yet? Blood, you steaming pile of filth! Blast it! I told you not to call on this channel! Getting others to do your dirty work? That's just low. Oh, this is ridiculously tiresome. He's still alive? What is wrong with you, Sergeant? Huh? Sir? Who's that guy? Blood, I'll talk to you later. Ignore the chatter, men. Let's take this hunter in. I don't know what's going on here, Sarge, but I know it stinks. Yeah, either you cut us in on this deal, or we walk. You can't spend credits if you're all dead. That makes a whole lot of sense. Let's get out of here. I'm with you. Cowards! The rest of you, attack! Yes, may I help you with something? Darling, please don't speak to that filthy vagabond. 
It's clearly not supposed to be here, and we shouldn't let ourselves look like we approve. Come, let us get a drink. Shut up, lady. Altaka, you're coming with me. Uh, to whom are you speaking? I've surely never heard of anyone named... Uh, Stow it, darling. Just feel the smug knowledge radiate from him. We knew this might happen eventually. Yeah, only so long you can keep dating your brother before something goes wrong. So you know our little secret. What does an insignificant creature like you want? What would make you dare threaten the noble? The Lord here is wanted back at home. At home? Uh, but that means... You, you told me I was trapped here. That I would have to forget my family. That this, this charade was the only way. Inside voice, darling. I may have exaggerated a bit, but hasn't it been nice here? The parties, the late nights, the intrigues and such? You witch! Keeping me here as your plaything when I could have been home with my sisters and dear mother. Ugh, oh, you could be such a whiny pain. It's a wonder your nobility. Let us make a new deal, bounty hunter. No deals. You give me Altaka now. Oh, stop testing my patience. The only reason you aren't dead is because I'd rather not cause a scene. This had better be good, lady. My darling, my lovely Altaka. Wouldn't you rather stay here with me than run home to your pathetic Republic family? What? Of course not. You treat me like a pet and this planet is disgusting. In fact, I'd rather... Yes, yes, you've made your tiresome viewpoint clear. Then here is what I propose. I assume Altaka's family will pay less for just his body. Kill him, show me the slip, and I'll compensate you the difference. Oh, what? You want him to kill me? You think I'd let you walk away and be someone else's pet? Never. This keeps getting more disturbing. She's insane. Please take me back to my family. It would mean so much to them, to my poor mother. I don't kill people unless I have to. You've made a very big mistake here today. Now take this thing and leave. Your kind does not belong here. You don't scare me, you pathetic witch. Just leave. Hey there, hunter. Competition out there, something crazy. A couple of hunters died in the jungles. Big Trandoshan got arrested by the Imperials. You found yourself an unfindable Republic noble. His family was plenty generous with their live bounty. Nobody should have to go through what that man suffered. Heart of a poet, gun like a capital ship. <laughs> I'm like to swoon. Your second bounty's a bit of a mystery. Apparently, whoever's stacking the deck against you gonna keep right on stacking. Hardly surprising. What I got here is a classified red flag request from Imperial Command. No details, just flashy warnings and a contact. Admiral Frabal, Imperial Navy. Hand it over, and I'll go see this Admiral Frabal. Watch yourself in that first sit and squawk. You haven't dealt much with Imperials, have you? They make huts look downright honest. Here's the slip. Frabal's in the city, not all that far a stroll. Go get him. This is the office of Admiral Frabal of the Imperial Navy. Do you have business here? Get out of my face. I am a lieutenant in the Imperial Navy. Address me with respect or I will have you publicly flogged. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. I have a job slip from your boss, moron. I really couldn't care less, what you... What's all that racket out there, soldier? There's a quarrelsome individual here, Admiral. Rather dirty, too. Quarrelsome? You're as weak as you are, stupid. I requested a mercenary from the Mandalorians. Send that person in immediately. Yes, sir. You may go in now. Next time, bang. The Admiral is waiting. Come in, mercenary. I apologize if my secretary caused you grief. He is of low birth and his intelligence reflects it. I'm afraid many of our Imperial soldiers are hopeless with delicate tasks. This is, of course, why I asked for a professional. If it's delicate you want, it's delicate you'll get. 
I have every faith in the Mandalorian Enclave's ability to get things done discreetly. My daughter has become something of a liability to me. I want you to kill her. That's something you don't hear every day. Then I'll assume you're newly arrived to Dromund Cass. Things work a bit differently here. My daughter was born Force-sensitive and trained to be Sith. A great honor for our family. Unfortunately, my daughter's master is one Lord Grathen, a madman who is now disgraced in the eyes of the Dark Council. Why not just get her a new master? It's outside of my control. The Sith manage their own affairs, the rest of us merely suffer the consequences. If Lord Grathen's compound is raided and my daughter captured or killed, every member of her family will suffer. This is Sith politics. In the best case scenario, I lose my rank and position. In the worst... This is one messed up way to run a planet. You deal with the Empire you have, not the one you might wish you had. Lord Grathen is a paranoid madman. His compound is built to withstand a siege, but a lone infiltrator will take them by surprise. My daughter is somewhere inside Lord Grathen's compound. Her name is Veretta. You will know her as she resembles me closely. Is there going to be fallout for taking down a Sith? Not as long as nobody knows what happened. Hang on, I've been running some data. Turns out renegade Sith Lord followers rack up death marks like crazy. Lord Grathen's top people all have prices on their heads. It'd be a shame to let those bounties go to waste. And we might need those extra credits to gear you up for the big melee. Remember, discretion is essential. Do not let yourself be captured. Good luck. Oh, what have we here? You're not even a Mandalorian, are you? When Lord Grathen's spy said my father contacted the Mandalorian Enclave, I expected they'd at least send me a real live Mandalorian. I'm afraid I'm a tad disappointed. You knew your father wanted you killed? Of course. But really, how scary is that? Wait, you don't seriously think you can kill me? I mean, I'm a Sith and you're just... whatever you are. Oh, we've got a true believer. Then again, it makes sense. Why would you come here if you thought you'd die? Apparently, my father isn't the only one living in a dream world. You can't kill a Sith, you silly. Why don't we test that theory? Wonderful. I love that line. Uh, what? I, I lost? I can't lose. I'm Sith. Someone's been filling your head with garbage. Can't die like this, falling to some common bounty hunter. Everything Lord Grothen told me was a lie. I've been living in a dream world. It can't end like this. It can't. It's time you and your father had a chat. No, that's worse. Reports of the raid on Lord Grathen's estate are pouring in. I trust you were successful in your endeavor. My daughter, Veretta, is... I made her into a fancy paperweight. You... you froze her. Why? I was so specific in my directions. Why in the galaxy would you do this? Why would you refuse a specific order and not eliminate the target? I figured it was a family affair. You're incredibly insightful for a bounty hunter. As soon as you left the premises, I realized my mistake. A mistake that would haunt me the rest of my days. We weren't about to let that happen, uh, sir. You've done me a great service, Hunter. She's all I have of her mother. Great services deserve great rewards. What? Oh. Of course they do. Of course. Here is your writ and your fee. Now, please. I need some time with my... with my daughter. Second bounty is done. Just one more and I'm in the melee. Right you are. And competition is heating up. 
That little green girl, Iopian Rattle, finished all her bounties. Heard she poisoned an Imperial Moth. Lucky we didn't get that one. Not sure how we'd work it out. Now, I ain't allowed details on whatever you were scrapping for Admiral Fabal. But I got a clearance note says it was duly scrapped. Nice payday, too. Professionals don't talk about their clients. I hear you. Less I know, the better. Here we go. Bounty three. I call it, someone's got a serious hate for my hunter. Top secret, crazy, red flag covered. This one's for a Captain Metal in Imperial Intelligence. No other information. Looks like I'm working for spies this time. Better not want us to poison someone. Stay careful. Get this one done and don't get yourself dead in the process. What the? Oh, right. The bounty hunter. Glad you could make it. You nervous hunter? Parked in the middle of Imperial Intelligence and all. I can say one word, or touch one button, and you'd disappear forever. Poof. Gone. Just like that. No one would even dare to ask what happened to you. Go ahead. Say the word and see what happens. <laughs> Nicely done. I like you, Hunter. I really do. I never signed up for this cloak and dagger stuff. I was a regular soldier. Then one day, I put together a covert op raid that goes a little too well. And bam, I'm in Imperial Intelligence. Look, what I'm saying is the stuff that goes on in these halls is insane. And all of it is crazy hush-hush. So what I'm going to tell you has to stay just between you and me. Got it? My price tag always includes the cost of discretion. Here's the deal. There's a huge ancient Sith temple on Drummond Cuss, used to just sit there being scary. Now the place is crawling with Sith sorcery, and it's been ordered a no-go zone for everyone. Naturally, we sent a team in. My commander led that team. Nobody came back. We can't report any of them dead without reporting the mission, which puts me in a bind. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to the temple? Because you've got warrior instincts, like me. If I can't prove my commander's dead, I can't take over his spot, which means an ugly power vacuum. I'm hiring you to enter that temple and find the team's ID cards, especially my commander's. I need those IDs to create more acceptable deaths for them. What if this commander and his team are still alive? They're not. And even if they are, they're not. Understood. Make sure you find an Imperial commander named Gargan. Can't imagine there'll be more than one corpse in a temple wearing commander stripes. Grab all the team's ID cards and double time it back here quietly. What is this in front of me? Another worshipper? Who braves the flames of the Altar of Horror to stand in front of Lord Barrel Slathborn, Lord of the Sith? Captain Metal sent me to find you, Commander. There is no Commander here. And if there were, he would be my minion. Imperials serve the Sith Lords. If you're not an Imperial Commander, then what's that ID card for? What madness do you speak? I have no... Oh, that... It seems the ID of some Imperial commander I must have slain has stuck to my robes. Do you wish to have it? A token of your visit with the great Lord Barrel Slackborn? Oh, thank you, my lord. That's very generous of you. It is settled then. A token for you. Go forth now and spread word to all who worship lesser lords. Lord Barrel Slathborn is mightiest among all mighty lords of the Sith. You got the IDs? Fantastic. Let me see. That's Commander Gargan's all right. What was it like in the Dark Temple? I've yet to hear anything that didn't sound like pure raving. There was an entire society in that temple. Well, kinda. Huh. <sighs> Still wish I could have got him myself. Would have saved me some unpleasantness. Listen to me. Unpleasantness. I'm even starting to talk like a spy. Friend, remember when I said Sith didn't want anyone in the Dark Temple? 
This ain't sounding too good. I wish there was another way to handle this. I really do. I can't risk the Sith ever finding out you went into their precious Dark Temple, which means you're now a liability. I apologize. This isn't the way a fighting man should die. Guards! <laughs> that went wrong, didn't it? Got a hole in my gut. I'm not going to beg. Turning on someone who did their job is wrong. We both know it. Here's your writ. <clears throat> it tells the Mandalorians you did your job. And here's your pay. The rest is up to you. Are you gonna send more men after me? To do what? Add to the body count. My men are no match for you. How about I make a more concrete apology? I'll send you some top-of-the-line weaponry as soon as you're out of here. That work for you? I'm glad this didn't have to get personal. It never was. Believe me. You're everything a man should be. I wish I'd... Well... It's too late for regrets. What's done is done. Good hunting to you. You're alive! Some Mandalorian big shot named Taro Blood said you were dead. They're about to start the melee without you. I can't wait to kill that man. You're gonna have to wait until after the melee. All the other hunters who survived are already inside. Get in there! If I die, bury my credits with me. No inheritance, huh? Thanks a lot. Don't get cute. Move! Last hunter left standing joins the great hunt. Simple as that. All weapons are allowed, but you fight alone. No assistance. And it looks like we have a latecomer. I hope you idiots are ready to die. Killing isn't strictly necessary, but it's well within the rules. Huntmaster, will you do us the honor? heard tales of your exploits, Hunter. Perhaps I'll turn them into a song to commemorate your death. Make sure it's something you can dance to. Consider it done. I'd wish you luck, but it wouldn't help. So I'll just say goodbye. Enough! You hunters are the best that the galaxy's goons and thug lords could send us. Now show us which one of you will join the great hunt. Fight! The melee is over! One hunter remains! <laughs> Quite a show you put on. Blasted fun to watch. How do you feel, Hunter? I just stomped my competition into the dirt. I feel great. <laughs> Enjoy it. Things only get harder from here. This is simply ridiculous. I mean, really. This needs to stop right now. Are we starting the hunt already? No! No! No unsanctioned kills in the Great Hunt! You see? That's a perfect example. I object to this farce. This ignorant thug does not deserve to enter the Great Hunt. His credentials are a lie, fabricated by his little gutter rat of a sidekick. He deserves no honors. You lying, cheating, murdering scum! We know this hunter's history, Blood. The Huntmaster has ruled. 
You fools! This is a place of honor, a competition of elites. Mandalore will hear of this. If you feel so strongly about it, fight the Huntmaster. Enough! Before this great hunt is over, I will have your skull in my hands. Well, the great hunt just got way more interesting. Sorry to interrupt, Huntmaster. Please continue. You get all that, Hunter? Just tell me that Tyrell Blood is my prey. <laughs> If he isn't yet, he will be eventually. You'll be hunting targets spread across the galaxy. There'll be at least one other hunter going for them too. You not only have to take down your target, you have to eliminate the other hunters. I'm supposed to execute my fellow hunters? You only have to eliminate them from the great hunt. Surrender isn't typical, but it's accepted. <laughs> Your handler, Krista, will fill you in on the rest of the details. She's waiting for you. Oh, what a thrashing! The other handlers are all bug-eyed jealous you won. Now, on to the great hunt. I expect you want to hear about your targets. Tell me everything I need to know. Here's how it's gonna work. First, you're getting a starship. No more shuttle rides for me. That ain't gonna be quite that easy. We'll talk about it in a second. On your ship's computer, you'll access two holo recordings, both with specific details on who and where you hunt. What's Terrell Blood gonna be doing? The same thing. That's how the Great Hunt works. Each target will have another hunter assigned to it. You have to locate that rival and take him out, too. Maybe we'll get lucky and Taro Blood will be on our first target. Now, about your ship, there's a tradition for new hunters. You've got to steal one for yourself. I can already tell this is going to be a blast. That's what life is for a hunter. Now, let's find you that perfect ship, yeah? I know one that belongs to one of them so-called importer types. Fast, smooth, and roomy. I'll pull together your holo recordings for the great hunt targets and transmit them when you hit space. Meantime, head to the spaceport. Get past whatever guards are around, steal your ship, and hit the hyperlanes. My trigger finger needs some exercise. <laughs> Still? You've been working it non-stop since you got here. Your first round of targets are on Balmora and Narshada. Good luck to you, Hunter. All right, you disgusting pile of puke. Drop your weapon and kiss the floor. This is one starship that's not getting stolen on my watch. You hear me, scum? Can you repeat all that into this barrel? You filthy off-world virus. I've had three ships stolen this year by the Mandalorians and their unwashed cohorts. Of course, not all Mandalorians are bad. Taro Blood was nice enough to tell me about this little tradition of yours. I really need to kill that guy one of these days. Karakimi, Anikak Nikak. You heard the man at him! Rules or no rules, Taro Blood dies the next time we see him. Right? That scum is living on borrowed time. Oh, I hate this. I don't want to feel this way about anyone, but I just... I want to make him pay. Don't worry, Mako. It's gonna be alright. Don't get all mushy on me. I was just saying is all. We'd better get moving. We've got a great hunt to win, right?